So I have been with uh, the root cellar for six years. So the food bank has changed the way I live in the fact that I, I believe that I don't take um, the little things for granted. Um, it's changed how I look at my own finances, the way I, I manage my own family. Um, and it's changed how I look at the community. I look at it in a completely different view than I did before. I personally have not had to use the food bank. However, I grew up um, in the 80s when um, everything crashed, the oil field crashed and interest rates crashed at the same time. So uh, in the 80s, my parents actually lost everything. And so um, as a child, my parents didn't have to use the food bank. So it definitely gave me a different perspective on things when I came to work here because I, um, you know, I'm really always looking for how to support kids in our organization and make sure that they feel welcome when they come here and make sure that they feel supported. So our organization is not government funded. So we are consistent fundraising and so we have a lot of events of our own but we also um, have a lot of uh, organizations businesses throughout the community that are fundraising on our behalf so we do uh, I think that that's the main part of what we do is attend a lot of different events but um, maybe the bigger ones to note um, every year uh, wild 94 uh, 5 FM they do fundraisers for us every year so we those are kind of our bigger things that we do during the year. I came to work here, uh, I owned my own business and I was very successful financially but I you know, really wasn't having my bucket filled every day so I wanted to come to work where I had a job where you know I could feel like I was making a difference in the world so I believe that what we do here is really important. We have a different philosophy than a lot of other food banks do. Our philosophy is more of a hand up as opposed to a hand out uh, so I really love the you know mission and vision of what we do and I appreciate that uh, uh, we get to support the community every single day and we get to my job I get to see the best of the world so I get to see uh, how how um, how nice it is for people to give and how they feel when giving but I also get to see people receive every day and how grateful they are so we're pretty blessed I think what I wish people knew about the root cellar is what we actually do. I think there's a stigma around food banking and a stigma about people who come here. But I think that if people actually knew what we do and how um, we have transformational programs that are trying to support people in the community, uh, empower people and get them back on their feet, I think that people would be really surprised to know that. So we get food in three different ways. So one, um, our truck goes every single day to all the grocery stores in the community and picks up the food that they can no longer sell. Uh, so because we're a food bank, we have different rules. So a can of soup, once it goes past the best before date in the store, we actually have a whole year to give it out. So we get a lot of food that way from grocery stores. Um, we get our, a lot of food from community food drives, so people who you know just bring in food. And then uh, we actually purchased 15 items uh, that we commit to having on our shelves at all time and we purchased that with donations that we were given with cash. Uh, we've been seeing kind of over the last two years uh, a steady increase of people. Um, we're seeing that increase based on inflation, food food costs, uh, you know, more expensive rents and mortgages. Um, so on average over the, like the last six months, we've been seeing about 200 new families. Um, and from last year, we're up 35%. Yes, COVID we had a huge um, impact on uh, the food bank. So uh, we weren't allowed to have any volunteers gather with us. We had to stop all of our programming and we had to turn into more of an emergency frontline service as opposed to, you know, doing all the things that align with our mission and vision, like supporting people, lifting them up, those things. So um, we had to stop, you know, having people come in and shop for the variety of the things that they needed. We had to go uh, simply to just giving out hampers. So uh, we were definitely impacted at points. We had a drive through, uh, you know, we, our whole operation was completely upside down. I think that it's, uh, I think the thing that's unique about our food bank is that we look at everybody as an individual. So when people phone, we don't just have a blanket approach to care. So when people phone, we look at their individual situation and really tailor how often they can come based on that. And we're really encouraging people to um, work with community supports to get themselves out of the situation that they're in. My favorite, I always say there's like two different kinds of things. So I, I like cash donations because I like to be able to purchase the things that we uh, need when we need it. 
us by like events that you know support us to raise money because it gives us the ability to um, be really flexible but I also really like um, events that bring in food like our you know chat food drive and things like that because what that does for us is it gives us the ability to give our clients variety so those 15 items that we buy um, they're all kind of staple items so the food drives give us the opportunity to be able to uh, you know give people cookies or snacks or different things as well so they both have value and I love them equally so through our food rescue program our truck goes to every grocery store every single day and picks up the food that they can no longer sell so they um, it gives us the ability to extend the life of food. So it's not just canned food. We also um, are able to have fresh fruits and vegetables and different things like that, dairy, um, but also frozen meat. So in order to save meat from the landfill, uh, they freeze it before the best before they give it to us frozen. We're, we're able to give it out frozen so that we can save the food, but also keep it safe. But really, we just really appreciate the community support. We are not government funded, so we don't have um, long-term operational support. So um, we rely on the kindness of our community. We're blessed by the community and uh, we really